we're going to look at how the rigid body constraint work uh, we're going to look at the hinge constraint so you can see that this object is constrained to the z-axis and when an object interacts with it it rotates along that axis so let's see how to create this system so I'll delete everything and go to add mesh cube and I'm going to scale this cube object apply scale I will add another cube move it up and another cube move it here okay so this cube is going to be a rigid body and we're going to move it passive make it passive because we don't want this object to fall this object is going to fall so it's going to be active so now this object is falling now this object has to be rigid body active as well but now we don't want this object to fall so we need to constrain it to this object so what we'll do is we'll go to add empty arrows scale the arrow big so we can see it okay so this arrow will have a rigid body constraint the first object is this and the second object is this now the constraint is supposed to be hinge so now when I play it nothing happens because the z-axis is not in the right direction we want the z-axis to be rotated 90 degrees and now when we play you can see that the pendulum is rotating now if you did not want this to go all the way then you can restrict the movement to a specific angle okay so if you wanted it to be at 45 degrees you could have done that and if you don't want it then it will go on forever so that's how the hinge constraint works. Thank you.